Hello. Hopefully you know what this is about already. You've uh, seen either our other videos or you've watched our little intro. Um, essentially what we do is that me and my cousin Andy um, talk about things that are particularly English or American for people visiting our countries um, and hopefully help lessen the confusion <laughs> that can happen even though we speak the same language. Um, today I'm going to assume you've come all the way over to England. Maybe you're in London, maybe you are somewhere else in this country. Uh, but you've been out and about. Maybe you've let some, met some locals who have um, been very friendly, especially in London. If you don't catch them either when they're on their way to work or not before work, the rest of the time, very friendly people. Um, <clears throat> anyway, you've got talking to some people who live here and they've said to you, oh, you know, we'll show you a little bit of culture, typical English culture, which when, in, when the English tend to go out, it's often to a pub, very traditional, um, the pub is a traditional place where you get kind of your beer or ale, quite often locally brewed with strange names. Um, the bars are usually a little bit more modern and contemporary and kind of chain. Um, so they've taken you to the pub, you've had maybe a pint maybe you're trying to keep up maybe you don't realise how strong it is and uh, you've had a nice evening until you wake up the next day and then you are oh, I, maybe I shouldn't have had that last one for the road and maybe you're feeling a little bit queasy don't worry there is an answer and the answer is the fry up also known as English breakfast, the all day breakfast, the cooked breakfast, and um, is essentially the go to thing that a lot of people will do on a Saturday or Sunday morning after they've had an evening out the night before. And uh, they'll go to a cafe with their friends and have a big plate of food. Um, if you go out and have a, an English breakfast, um, I would suggest you go to a greasy spoon. Uh, Greasy Spoon is a, kind of a budget cafe where they have four mica tables typically and plastic chairs and it's, it's cheap, big pile of food and it's greasy, it's Greasy Spoon and um, I'll expect you to have that Greasy Spoon with a cup of builder's tea, hot and strong, maybe, <laughs> and um, sorry. <laughs> Um, but today I'm just going to cook a little breakfast for myself and you can see the kind of things that go in it and please don't judge my cooking, not the best. I've already burnt the sausages, put them in earlier in the oven because um, they take about 20 minutes and went off to kind of like put some makeup on, <laughs> it's a bit smoky in <laughs> never mind it's all part of the experience. <laughs> Um, someone's cooking you a breakfast, you might end up with burnt sausages anyway. <laughs> so, um, okay, what's in the English breakfast? Um, eggs, fried typically. Um, so, yeah, fried typically, and then you might get the option for scrambled or poached, but a proper fry is fried egg. And if you go to a greasy spoon, then you're probably just going to get it because it comes rather than. To do you say like, over easy and stuff? I don't really get that. Maybe Andy can explain, but um, yeah, a bit runny, cooked both sides generally. And then you'll get bacon, uh, back bacon, maybe smoked, maybe not, um, crispy, crispy bacon's good. And then um, you'll get sausages and pork sausages, usually, and uh, baked beans. And then you, like often when you go to a cafe, you'll have a lot of different options for the breakfast. So it might be, you can get um, your breakfast with like eggs, bacon, chips. And that's not chips as in your crisps, that's in chips as in french fries, which is personally my favourite when I go out and have breakfast. 
Um, you might get it with hash browns, which are these kind of, um, kind of like really finely diced potato made into a kind of a patty thing, which is crispy on the outside. And you don't tend to get them handmade, they tend to come frozen and then put in the oven. Um, you might also get options of um, fried mushrooms, fried uh, tomatoes, um, what else? Black pudding, blood pudding. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And it comes with toast. Yes, toast. Uh, either fried bread, <laughs> it's really greasy, <laughs> or just toast. It bog standard, like really cheap white bread slathered and better. So I'm going to start cooking now. I'm going to let you look a little bit but not too much because I'll just talk to you while I'm cooking my breakfast basically. If that's okay. Do you mind? You can turn away now and go somewhere else, come back. Watch me eat it. <laughs> um, Andy is probably going to tell you and hopefully about the American breakfast. Right now what am I doing? See multitasking in the kitchen. What goes on first? The sausages. The sausages go on first because they take 20 minutes. Um, next thing that takes the next bit longest is... Actually, they all kind of take at the same time, so I'm going to put it all on the same time. I've got a pan for fried egg. I've got a pan for my baked beans. So prepared. Thank you. And I've got... Um, I have my bacon. And you will find, um, actually, that... Um, there's been a massive rise in these kind of in in kind of quite um, pop up cafes or kind of quite, really quite nice um, art art kind of cafes um, that will also do breakfasts. And but just beware, like if you if you're going out for breakfast, you will have if you go to one of those cafes, then you're likely be paying. Um, Ten pound for your breakfast as opposed to five, but you will probably have a more healthy option uh, in that it will be organic. It's likely to be all, like advertised as organic, and I should keep on health version my uh, Yeah, so it's likely to be organic and um, yeah, like things like just better quality, maybe free range, that kind of stuff. That's not to say that the Reese's Spoons don't have those products, it's just not, they don't advertise uh, themselves as that. And, it, you know, it's just, it's just perfect, trust me. Um, <clears throat> the good thing about them as well is that if you're an early riser, you know, if you're up at six, then those cafes open really early because they basically cater to people who are working um, and are often found around the markets or around where they're got building things going on. <laughs> um, so I've got my bacon on. Don't need not to see any oil because there's a lot of fat in it. Um, smells good. I threw the sausages that have happened. Um, baked beans. Do we eat baked beans in the uh, These are bounced them. Typically, Heinz is the really well-known one. But Good shape because there's lots of sauce in there, and you get beans at the bottom, and then you open the tin, you pour it out, and we get the sauce. I don't want the sauce, I want the beans. Um, quite high sugar and high salt. You can, if you don't want them, just have lots of fried tomatoes or grilled tomatoes. Um, but baked beans and chips with your breakfast. Uh, a winning combination of my book. And if you do just want your American breakfast when you come over, don't worry, there are plenty of places um, that do the American style breakfast. I'm not sure if it's a genuinely American breakfast, um, but you'll get pancakes, uh, syrup, and you won't get syrup like getting high IHOP, you'll get one syrup. Okay, so my bacon's cooking, my beans are on, oh, my egg, my egg, sorry, meat egg, but it's typically a West Country thing to say, which is where I'm from originally. Uh, it does slip out every now and then, especially when I'm talking to more than a few minutes. 
Um, now, you need a lot of oil when you're frying an egg, but this is you left there. Um, I'm using olive oil just because I think that maybe that makes it a little bit healthier. I'm not sure that's true. <laughs> my toast is hot, and I've got my butter ready waiting over there. I might take a little look at my sausages. Go with me. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, what else do you want to know? You ask me. Um, typically, when you have your um, your breakfast, you will have it with a cup of tea. We do have coffee here, and we have a lot of coffee. Like, the coffee culture thing's really um, grown in the last well, five, ten years. Um, you'll find all your familiar chains here. Um, but, tea is and I'm going to do a separate one with you because it's that important. So my bacon's getting crispy, my oil's heating up, and my bacon's all done. And I'm not that hungry now, I cooked it. Andy, it's too early in the morning for bed. And the cook. Oh, it's actually 11. <laughs> English breakfast. Enjoy. Bye.